dear students salam alaikum i hope you had a good weekend you took some rest and now you are fresh back in the class and i also hope that you did some studies in the weekend my subject and other subjects and you have made good use of the youtube and the moodle on last week we learned how to use formula for differentiation and then at the end of the week we had one page of formula which we need for the full semester now today we'll be using some of those formula one by one today we'll discuss 20 examples and all these 20 examples are very important for the complete semester these questions were taken from the last semester so they are very important please go through them understand all of them if you don't please get back to me now i'll tell you the read out all the questions to you and the formula which we are going to use now problem 1 find the derivative of the function f of x equal to 4x plus 1 whole power 3 now this is of what form whenever you see a question you think about the structure of the question and the formula which we are going to use this is of the form u power n where n equal to 3 and u equal to 4x plus 1 and what's the rule the rule is given over here n into u power n minus 1 into du by dx the derivative of u is 4 plus 0 which is equal to 4 and now we'll write the rule somewhat differently we'll write it like this So f prime x equal to 4x plus 1 whole power 3. Then we put a square bracket with the prime. Prime brings the first derivative. Now the rule is 3n into n minus 1. So 3 same thing 3 minus 1 into the that derivative of that same thing. So the derivative is 4 into 3 12 and the power is 2. That power three becomes power two. We have seen this many times before. The derivative of x cube is three x square. The same thing happens here. Here the power is three, so this three will come out and it will become three minus one here. You get twelve into four x plus one whole square. Remember to keep the bracket. Next example. Find the derivative of the function f of x equal to two x plus three into four x plus one. Whole power three. Here you are multiplying two functions. Now what's the rule for multiplying two functions? Derivative of first function into second function plus first function into derivative of second function. Now the derivative of first function two x plus three is two into one plus zero equal to two. Derivative of the second function we saw in problem one. So just copy it here. So two into four x plus one whole power three. Plus 2x plus 3 into the derivative of the second function. Now your differentiation is just one line and one line from your total two lines. Just copy it. Do not do any more algebra today on this. Problem number three. Find the derivative of the function f of x equal to 1 plus x square under the root square root of 1 plus x square. Now this is again of the form u power n. U equal to one plus x square, n equal to half. The rule is n into u power n minus one du dx. Now u prime is one plus x square whole prime. This is equal to zero plus two x equal to two x. Now use the rule f prime x equal to one plus x square whole power half. We don't write the square root symbol. We write the half because n is important. Half into power of half minus one. You are always subtracting one in all these formulae. One plus x square. The derivative is two x. Half into two x is x. Now your derivative stops here. Now we'll do some cosmetics. This minus half will take down, and when the power is half, it has a special symbol. It becomes one plus x square under the root. And the last two lines in this here are. Simplification and the first three lines is the derivative. Just remember, your derivative will be only three lines. 
नेक्स्ट व्हाट डू वी डू फाइंड द डेरिवेटिव ऑफ द फंक्शन एच ऑफ एक्स इक्वल टू ई पावर माइनस फोर एक्स स्क्वायर द रूल इज व्हाट द रूल फॉर डिफरेंशिएटिंग एन एक्सपोनेंशियल फंक्शन ई पावर यू यू गेट ई पावर यू इंटू डी यू बाई डी एक्स यू इज हाउ मच माइनस फोर एक्स स्क्वायर यू प्राइम इज माइनस फोर इंटू टू एक्स विच इज माइनस एट एक्स दिस फंक्शन एच ऑफ एक्स विथ ई पावर माइनस फोर एक्स स्क्वायर इज कॉल्ड गॉसियन इट कैन हैव एनी नंबर अदर देन फोर एनी इंस्टेड ऑफ माइनस फोर यू कैन हैव माइनस वन माइनस टू दिस फंक्शन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इट इज कॉल्ड ए गॉसियन नॉ द डिलीवेटिव इज हियर जस्ट टू लाइन्स e power minus 4x square whole prime now this e comes out like this and you differentiate e power u is outside you just differentiate u you get minus 8x now this minus 8x can be kept on the right with a bracket or on the left like this keep it the way which you like now find the derivative of the function h of x equal to x into e power minus x what are we doing here Here we are multiplying two functions. Now what's the rule? Derivative of first function into second function plus first function into derivative of second function. Derivative of x is one. Derivative of e power minus x is minus one into e power minus x. This minus derivative of minus x is minus one, so you have minus one here. Now your differentiation is over in the second line. Third line is only simplification. Remove this one. 1 into e power minus x is e power minus x. Open this bracket. Plus x into minus is minus minus x into e power. You can stop here, or if you want, you can factorize this. Take e power minus x. It is repeating. Write it as 1 minus x, either on the left or on the right. Both are fine. Please focus more on the differentiation and less on the algebra. In today's examples, all the algebras are after the differentiation is over. So do not worry too much about the algebra today. In some other chapters, we have to worry about the algebra also. Now here we have a function where you are dividing something by something. Now what is the rule? U divided by v whole prime is u prime v minus u v prime divided by v square. U equal to x. V equal to x cube plus one. What comes is called u. What comes down is called v. Now the derivative of x is one. Derivative of x power three plus one is three x square plus zero, which is equal to three x square. Now we use the quotient rule. Quotient means divide. Quotient means you are dividing first function with the second function. Now use this rule. Now put this. Well, jab your differentiation is again over in the second line, third line. Open this bracket. One into this is x power three plus one. Minus 3x power 3. Now open this bracket. We'll get x cube plus 1 minus 3x cube, and you'll get 1 minus 2x cube. And remember to square the function in the. So this is your answer. The last line has simplification, and the first two lines has simplification. Now you have find the derivative of the function. x square divided by x whole plus 1 and you just make the simplification you get plus 1 in the same way derivative of x square divided by x whole plus 1 is e power 4 plus 4 x square which is power 2 so again use the quotient rule e prime is minus u prime by v square so simplification is over here now this is all this derivative of x square is 2x derivative of first function into second function is minus Now this is again problem eight having a square root of something. Now what's the square root? Here the square root comes out now. So the power is minus half. Just remember this is not half, this is minus half. So what's the rule? 
n is equal to power n minus 1 minus n is equal to cos x power is minus half minus half x plus power plus n so minus half minus 1 you always have to add 1 when you have x power plus n plus 1 go there power x to 1 so both are same so you should also be able to see that x is equal to x plus 1 on both sides minus half minus this minus half minus 1 this minus is equal to you need to put the Now oh, half into 4 is 2 into 2 which is 8. If you want you can write this as x power x on the left or on the right. So let's take this one as x power x on the left. Now find the derivative of the function x is equal to minus n. What is happening here? Here we are multiplying with p and we are adding n. So what is over here for function x? We need the product rule. You have to use the product rule. Now what's the product rule? Now you have to remember it. Now let's differentiate 4 minus x under the root. It's just like the previous questions. You'll get minus 1 divided by 2 under root 4 minus x. How do you get it? Half, half minus 1 is minus half. Minus half means you have to bring it down. And when it comes down, again you write it as a square root, you get this. So this is the derivative of the second function. Now, what the derivative of the first function? The first function is x. So the derivative of x is 1. So it is derivative of the first function into second function plus first function into derivative of the second function. Now just do this. You get 1 into 4 minus x. Now x into derivative of second function is here. It simplifies this. The more algebra is possible, but we'll not do it because it's not useful today. Now let's look at problem number 10. In problem 10, we have sine and cosine and the logarithm. The first thing is g of x equal to ln ln natural logarithm. The rule, what's the definition uh, de derivative of a logarithmic function? 1 by u into du by dx, u equal to 1 plus sine x plus cos x. Now just write it in the short form g prime equal to u prime by u. Now differentiate this derivative of 1 is 0, different derivative of sine is cosine, derivative of cosine is minus sine. Remove the 0 cos minus sine and this is u, 1 plus sine x plus cos x. So this is it. Now we do a way, one more question similar to the last question. Logarithm of x square plus sine x plus cos x u equal to x square plus sine x plus cos x. Now, what's the derivative? u prime divided by u. Now, what's the derivative of x square? It is 2x. Sine derivative is cosine. Cosine derivative is minus sine. So, 2x plus cos x minus sine x. And remember to divide by u. It is u prime divided by u. So, you do u prime divided by u. You get it this way. And no more algebra is possible in this case. Find the derivative of the function e power x into sin x plus cos x. Now, using the product rule we have f prime x equal to uv whole prime. Now, derivative of first function into second function plus first function into second function. Now, the derivative of e power x is e power x. Look at that one page rules which I gave you. Now, copy the second function plus first function. Now, you have to only differentiate sin x plus cos x is cos x minus sin x e power x is coming here with one bracket and e power x is coming here with a second bracket. So take e power x into first bracket plus second bracket sin x plus cos x plus cos x minus sin x plus sin will cancel with minus sin. You'll get cos x plus cos x which is 2 cos x. Now this 2 will come out. You can write cos x on the right or you can write the cos x on the left. Whichever looks good to you. Both are fine. Now, this question is again very similar. g of x equal to e power x into tan x. Now, the solution, again, you are going to use the product rule. Derivative of first function into second function plus first function into derivative of second function. e power x, the derivative is e power x. tan x, the derivative is secant square x. So, first function, derivative into second function plus first function, derivative of the second function. Now, the derivative of the first function is e power x, same function. Derivative of tan x is secant square x. Now take e power x in common if you want to. You'll get tan x plus secant square x. 
the last step has algebra if you don't want to do it don't do it there is no problem you will get full marks now the second function is 14th question now g of x equal to cosecant x into x square plus 2x plus 5 so one algebraic function one trigonometric function the derivative of cosec x is cosecant x into cotangent x derivative of x square plus 2x5 is 2x plus 2 derivative of first function into second function plus first function into derivative of second function you write it here you get it no more algebra is needed you can do a little bit of algebra but will not worry about it find the derivative of the function h of x equal to square root of cos x plus x cube plus 2 now what will you do now it is u power half u power half so the derivative is half power half minus 1 into derivative of what is inside just look at the old questions now half minus 1 is minus half derivative of cosine is minus sine derivative of x power 3 is 3x square derivative of 2 which is a number is 0 now cos x plus x cube plus 2 whole power minus half into the derivative now this minus half will come down like this and there is this half also here which it has has to be written in this step also now this is yes why it is covering now this two will come down again you can bring it down and write it like this any questions we'll see Now you can see half into cos x plus x cube plus two whole power minus half. This half is written like this. This two comes from the half. Rest of the answer is similar to what we had in the last class. Now let's look at the sixteenth function. G of x equal to tan x into sin x plus cos x. Even if you know some trigonometry, do not try to simplify this. Just leave it as a product of two functions. Your first function is tan x, and the second function is The full bracket sin x plus cos x. Now, what's the rule? Derivative of first function into second function plus first function into derivative of second function. Derivative of tan x is secant square. Copy the second function. Please remember it is plus first function into derivative of second function. What is it? Sin will become cosine. Cosine will become minus sine. Do not try any algebra in this question before differentiation or after differentiation. Now let's look at the seventeenth question. Find the derivative of the function h of x equal to under root sine x plus x cube plus seven. Again, you have power half here. Now uh, what we are going to do? What we did in the previous question? Now uh, sine x plus x cube plus seven whole power half. You get half into something into half minus one. Just copy the full bracket here. It is then differentiate whatever is inside. Sine will become cosine. X cube will become three x square, and seven will become zero after differentiation. So again, we forgot to put the half here. Copy the half here. Yes. Yes. Now this minus half will come down, and this two will come here. One will not contribute visibly, and you will get cos x plus three x square divided by two under root sine x plus x cube plus seven. Now let's do a different type of question. F of x equal to x square into tan inverse x. Now you have two functions. First is x square. Second is tan inverse x. Or the rule: derivative of first function into second function plus first function into derivative. So even if you don't remember the derivative of tan inverse x, please do not worry about it. It's not tan power minus one; it is tan inverse x. Or the derivative of x square is two x. Copy this plus x square. Derivative of tan inverse x is one divided by one plus x square. Even if you don't remember, even if you write half step, you will get half mark. One mark out of two, even if you don't know the derivative of tan inverse x. 
so do not worry about it now if you want to do some simplification you can do it open this bracket 2x into 10 inverse x plus take this x square into 1 it looks better like this you can do it now the algebra is optional the derivative is only in the first three lines on the 19th question find the derivative of the function h of x equal to ln square x minus ln ln x square this kind of functions you get in your number theory problems and not in your engineering problem now there are two things here first thing minus second thing what do you do do it one at a time now, now what the derivative of ln square x ln square x means ln x whole power 2 now what the derivative 2 into ln x into derivative of ln x what the derivative of ln x is 1 by x derivative of ln x is 1 by x 2 into ln x into 1 by x you do some algebra write it 2 ln x by x this is 2 ln x by x nothing will cancel here we can write it slightly different using more algebra but do not worry there are some properties of ln x now what's the derivative of ln ln x is now this is function inside a function the inside function is ln x so derivative of ln u is u prime divided by u how much is u ln x derivative of ln x is 1 by x divided by ln x after algebra it becomes 1 divided by x ln x now finally h prime x is derivative of first minus the derivative of second derivative of first is 2 ln x by x minus 1 by x ln x no algebra will be useful here we can do it but we are not going to do it find the derivative of the function f of x equal to sine inverse x one minute yeah sine inverse 6x it is sine inverse it is not sine power minus 1 the solution is derivative of sine inverse u is 1 divided by 1 minus u square into du by dx or which you can write it as du by dx here instead of the 1 and do it now what inside inside is 6x derivative of 6x is 6 1 minus 6x whole square 6 square is 36 x square is x square so 6 divided by square root of 1 minus 36 x square so we have done 20 questions of 20 types these are the questions which you will be having in your exams so please concentrate on these questions inshallah you will be home fast inshallah we will be doing some other questions and more practice in the coming days so if you have any questions please go through it and let me know Thank you.